Hey, what's up? It's day 13. <laughs> I'm Gazbot, here with my new pal. He's a chameleon. Why not? He's not real. But are we all real? I don't know. He's stone. I have minerals in me. That's my mother! No work done yet. I've been out with my mom shopping. I'm in a parking deck. It's getting dark, so if I get mugs, hopefully they don't steal my phone. Hopefully they don't kill me, I guess is what I should say. Anyway, that's what's going on. I'm just filming while I'm walking at the car after walking up five flights of stairs. Well, yeah. it's still day 13. Me, Gaz, about back to a familiar setting. Uh, I'm messing up putting in my password to my computer. Once again, trying to multitask. Get set up while I talk to you. I'm going down. That's right, I'm down here, plugging in a light. That light is plugged in. Okay. Oof. Now I'm going to turn on my monitor and grab my headphones and get ready to rock by 30 minutes for day 13 of 100 Days of Making Comics on my Werewolf and Anthology. And werewolf and anthology. You know what it is. You've been here. My throat's getting a little croaky. Everything's turning on. Photoshop's opening. I'm opening up my files, getting ready to set the timer. Not looking forward to working today. Uh, yesterday, I wasn't as tired and sick and whatever as I was the day before. Today also. Went out with my mom, did a bunch of stuff. Um, nothing too crazy. I, I'm a little tired, but not too bad. I'm in better shape physically and mentally than I was yesterday. Not that I was in bad shape, but you know what I'm saying. I'm actually in the mood to draw, but that's not what I'm doing. I'm working on my comic, which is not always drawing, which is often not drawing. And I need to look at the four pages that I have completely laid out, knowing a chunk of it is messed up and not knowing how to fix it. And one of the things I find that makes me most, one of the things that's most difficult to get to work, I've realized somewhat recently of myself, is when I don't know what to do. If I'm working on a drawing and I get to a part of anatomy that I have a hard time with, or if I can't think of a good angle for a cover image or, or I don't know what, you know, if I just don't know what to do, it's so much harder than if I know what to do and it's hard. It's like, well, this is going to take me hours, but I know what to do and I can push through or I'm trying to figure out, you know, concept stuff. But once I sort of know, once I have a direction, like in this project, I have four pages and I kind of, I have the broad outlines of what I need to do. If I can't figure out the next step or if the next step, I know what the next step is in this case but I'm not sure how to accomplish it. I'm not sure what to cut out, what to revise. That's when it's the hardest for me to sit down and work. And that's when, when I do do it, I'm the least productive. Usually it involves art. Now it's involving writing slash revising slash whatever. So I'm getting ready to put my 30 minutes in, but it, I think there's a very real possibility I could get to the end of this 30 minutes and have nothing to show for it. Um, not even like the last two days, I kind of forced it and was like, here's something. Hopefully I'm wrong. Um, my temptation is to start like, working on designs and, and, and refining the art on page one because I'm pretty sure that won't change, but I feel like that's doing a disservice because then I will refuse to change it and maybe that's the solution I'm looking for. And so while I have a little bit of time to work on my personal art and I would much rather be doing other things, this is the job, this is the challenge. I am a professional, I'm gonna spend 30 minutes hating this. Good, you should too. Not hate it, but do it even if you do hate it. You know what I'm saying. Hey. It's been close to an hour, and as predicted, I don't really have anything to show, but I will show you what I do have. Little. What? Alright, so this is the page four I'm working on, the troublesome page. A lot of dialogue, a lot of patent dialogue words. It's not necessarily dialogue back and forth, but font, text, whatever you want to call it. And I'm trying to figure out how to fit the images, what I could cut, etc. And I put in some text here. Like, I didn't put it on any other page, really. I was mainly just sort of scribbling it in here or putting a box, kind of estimating. But because it was becoming such a problem, I needed to get a little bit more finite uh, of a measurement. So what I did was I figured, well, I got to figure out the font size, uh, you know, and whether or not I use this font, maybe I'll hand letter it, maybe I won't, I don't know. But I just want to, like, what's the average font size for a standard American printed comic? And I couldn't really find it. And in my head, for some reason, it was 12-ish. But I think that's just because on a book I had worked on, I used 12 of a certain font. And But the one thing I read, and I kind of remember doing this, it's been a while, because the last two issues of my book, I didn't really letter myself. Um, and often, little projects I've done where I've done lettering, it didn't matter that much because I had plenty of room and so I could kind of make it a little bit bigger than it had to be necessarily to be readable. So, but there was a tip online that I found that I sort of followed and I, and I did this a little bit before, but I kind of forgot, is finding a standard comic book page of art I liked or whatever, bringing it into Photoshop, making it about the size that you're working at to see, and then match the font to roughly be that size. So that's what I did. 
I brought in this page from the comic book Invincible from Image Comics. And if you see here, I had my text and I made it to be, it's actually a little bit bigger than that. Now, the spacing is different and the font's different, but it's, you know, in the ballpark. It's, it's actually a little bit bigger. So theoretically, if this is readable in a mainstream comic, then this should be readable. And just to double check myself, I brought in a page from like more like the 80s of Excalibur from Marvel Comics. Same thing. It's actually a little bit bigger than what we have here. So two different comics from two different decades, and they're roughly the same size as what I'm using. This is actually a little bit bigger. This is seven pixels, which surprised me. So here you see an example um, of what I had previously. And this is actually a uh, 10 point font, the same, well, 10 point size, I should say, uh, at seven point font, so three points smaller. And it's actually a little hard to read. I'm trying to zoom in here, there we go. But the point isn't to have you read my panel. It's to show how small I theoretically could get. And it's actually, it hasn't solved, and it actually hasn't solved all of my problems, but it's certainly making it easier to fit things in. And it warrants redoing the whole page, putting the lettering in, see if it could work as is before I go in and change things around too much. And it's looking possible. Um, but I question if it is indeed too small. So tomorrow I might print it out like two size that'll be printed in comic and see how readable it is because it seems like a little bit too good to be true that it could be that small. Um, it doesn't necessarily fix all the problems, but again, it makes it plausible that I might not have to make any major changes. Um, but I've put in close to an hour already. Don't have a lot to show, but clearly I've done the work and I kind of have a direction to go in. I know what I'm going to do tomorrow, so I won't feel as, uh, it won't be as, I won't be dragging my feet as much tomorrow. Oh, I just poke myself in the eye. I always do that. Anyway, I better be done with today, day 13. Good. Hey, it's day 14, it's me Gazbot. I just exited a closet, walking through a bathroom hallway and into another room. What is happening? I'm gonna turn here, pause, in this interesting light in front of a, ow, in front of wood. Why, I don't know. Nothing has happened yet today. Um, I've been doing some housework and shopping. My mother is just coming along. She's like, catch up on your things. And I've been catching up on my things. Not art things, but other things. Um, we are going to go out to eat in a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna try to get my 30 minutes in right now. Ah, just for something different. It's about quarter to one in the morning. I was just taking out my other garbage can for the lovely garbage tomorrow. I did my 30 minutes. I couldn't show it to you because Q is filming one of her shows for Twitch. A Comic Chameleons, a comic book review show. She does Monday nights. You can check it out on the Airzuki channel. But meanwhile, I, uh, did my work. I'll talk about that more later. January 15th, technically, well, it just turned the 15th. It's the 14th, but it's after midnight, but And I just today spent some time taking down the rest of the Christmas decorations, with the exception of the Christmas tree, which is up in the guest room, which is where mom is staying, and it's more trouble than it's worth, and she likes it being up, so that's fine. So everything else, I took it down off the stairs where I like it and everything, except I still have this string up by my computer, which I really dig. I don't plan on leaving it up forever, but I'm also not in a real big hurry to take it down either, so. We'll see. All right, so for day 14, let me talk about what I did today. I did my 30 minutes. Yes, I did closer to an hour. So the first thing I did was, in keeping with what I was working on yesterday with font size, I was still worried that I was working too small. So I did a printout of actual size that it would be for the comic. And a little bit of spoiler, if you try to read dialogue, whatever, you, you win. But this is, well, I mean, yeah, whatever, you read the dialogue. This is how I had it originally, about this size. And this is the size that it says will work just fine, which seems small to me. It's readable, but I read a lot of comics and I'm like, well, I, I don't mind putting that effort. And again, this, I might change the font, but just this general size. So then I said, well, let me grab a couple comics. And I grabbed Power Rangers comic, which came out a month or two ago. So again, a modern comic. And I looked at the text there. And when I held it up next to mine, about the same size. Again, mine might even be a little bit bigger or roughly the same size. And I said, okay, well, let me do another test as well. And I found this. Uh, this is a kaiju comic by Hiroshi, uh, I'm gonna say his name wrong, Kanatani, Hiroshi Kanatani. And I believe it's pronounced Eros, but I'm not sure, Kaiju Eros Rampage. Anyway, uh, I'm just shouting it out because it's another independent uh, kaiju comic. But his, I believe was done in Japanese originally um, and then translated to English, especially when I look at these bubbles. There's a lot of extra space. And I was like, oh, maybe this is a little bit larger, you know, because it was done in a different format or whatever. But then when I held it up next to mine, same size or smaller than mine. So a mainstream and an indie book, both doing it. So as surprising as it is, put those down, this is the correct size, which again, solves a lot of my problems. Now, 
that means I could basically include everything I wanted to and not have to cut much. Now, that doesn't mean I shouldn't cut some, uh, maybe content, maybe, you know, full images, or at the very least, maybe some lines of dialogue. I keep calling it dialogue, even though it's captions, but it's whatever, words. Um, so I'm still gonna revisit and revise, but I'm able to fix it. What, what I worked on was fixing the page to fit everything I wanted to first. Then I'll go back and revise the whole thing, but at least I could go from a starting point of not a desperate, oh, I have to cut something. I can really think about if I wanna cut and what I wanna cut. So this is the middle of page four, the second tier. So I had three panels up top, two in the middle, three on the bottom. I'd kind of reworked the top one. So after I did my print test, I was reworking the middle. This is where I was at before. I had these two big blocks on this panel and it was sort of one panel bleeding into the other. And here I don't have anything because it was a wall of text that covered everything up completely. Uh, and so I changed it mainly by using this new smaller font size. And here I broke up the two big bricks into one, two, three smaller ones, and there's white out over stuff so you can't read it. And then this one, I was able to not only fit things, but I broke it into four panels and tried to, I'll probably have to still move these around a little to make sure the eye is led around, but I was able to still fit the image under that I wanted, uh, and I decided to actually segment it to really be two panels. But that was, that was kind of the second half of what I worked on today was getting that change to there, which means that I'll probably leave the bottom as is, and then tomorrow I'll start back with page one and revisit everything with a fresh eye. Day 16, day 15. Hey Uzi, what's up? She's excited because it's day 15. That's right. Yeah. What? So I just recorded a whole bunch. Yeah, you believe that? I'm an idiot, Uzi. I just recorded a whole bunch and then turned it on. You know how you like, talk, 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 turn it on. Anyway, what I'm saying is uh, it's the day 15, woke up, my mom's still in town, didn't have a car, we were gonna go hang out in the downtown, but it's super rainy today. And so we braved the rain, walked about a half hour to the downtown, saw a movie, Bumblebee. Bumblebee! Okay, second time for me. That's fine, I liked it. It was a matinee, she wanted to see it, so it was cheap. Uh, and walked back. But it was cold and rainy, so we got home and then just sort of chilled out and had some soup and watched TV. Uh, but it's like 5.30 now, and I was like, you know what? You keep watching TV. I'm gonna go upstairs and do a little work. And the work I'm gonna do is, well, petting the cat, of course, and then my 30 minutes on the werewolf story, and then I'm gonna try to work on editing the next video for these. Because I've been posting every day to Instagram and then reposting to my Facebook page and the 100s group. But usually it's just a quick image or whatever. But I have been recording little videos every day, as you know if you're watching this, but it's way behind. I'm doing collections of three days, five days, seven days, whatever. But now I have over a week's worth and I don't want to put that all up in one video. So I want to kind of start catching up. So I'm going to do my 30 minutes and then I'm going to work on the next video. Hey, so time has passed and we're in the future. Although the past, because you're, whatever. Anyway, time. It, I spent a little, I spent more than a half hour, less than an hour. Um, and what I basically did was finished putting in the smaller font throughout the rest of page four and kind of broke it up. So it's sort of like rough lettering at this point. I don't know if I'm gonna change the font. I don't know if I'm gonna go over it by hand, but I have it all broken down and it fits the page. Uh, and I adjusted the art a little bit to match it. And then I was like, well, what do I do next? Do I start from the beginning? And I said, you know what? I'm gonna do that for all the pages. I'm gonna take fonts, take the script, get it all on the page and then give it a new look. You know, I was gonna go back to page one originally was my plan today, but I'm instead not doing that. Uh, and so I did finish page four and I did the first two panels of page three. And the next couple days, I will do this for the entire four pages and then revisit what I was going to do today. I'll just do it in a few days. And I have lots of time because it's day, what, 15 of 100. So making good progress, not worried about it. Um, not a lot to show you though. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna end it it's boring things. I can't show you much today, but just know that's what I did, and uh, that's it for day 15. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't know what that was. It's day 16. It's day 16. I just got up. I didn't get enough sleep. I'm gonna have this. Bowl of Jackie Apples and a decaf cup of gobo. I'm going to San Francisco. 30 minutes. We'll have to wait until later tonight. Okay. Day 15. It's day 16. Day 16. 
Uh, it's after 1 a.m. I went to the city, San Francisco, with my mom today. We walked around in the rain a lot. Well, actually, we were inside a lot, but it was cold and a lot of driving in the rain and then got back and we went out to dinner with Q. A lot of going out to dinner while my mom's in town, uh, which is nice, but time-consuming. Um, and then we played some games and farted around home having nice family time. But that doesn't help me get my 30 minutes done. And uh, I have a headache. And I thought maybe it was because I had some caffeine earlier because I'd drive home in the rain for like an hour and a half and I didn't want to be tired. One of those times where I said it's worth having the caffeine, you need the caffeine. Maybe I'm dehydrated. I'm talking a lot. The caffeine's long since worn off. I had it a while ago. I mean, maybe it's not worn off, but I had it like four, five, six hours ago, something like that. But um, I was kind of hoping to get a little bit better headspace, maybe clear up my this huh, headache. So I've been like doing other work stuff. Um, writing back to people about potential jobs and working on my calendar and uh, then I played a round or two of Overwatch which wasn't productive but again just trying to get myself together. Still have a little bit of a headache um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my 30 minutes anyway because I'm a professional. Well okay that's 30 minutes. Maybe a hair over but certainly at least 30. Um, I finished up the rough lettering. Let me rub my eyes. Good. Finished up the rough lettering for page three. So I kind of went backwards. I did page four, page three. Then I went back to one and two. So I finished three, started one. So tomorrow I will continue the rough lettering on page one and maybe go into two. And uh, then once that's done, I'll go back and revisit the whole thing. So progress proceeding according to the plan and according to the plan that I elongated the other day. But forward motion 30 minutes or more a day right now it's been mostly 30 minutes but you know you can see things getting done getting more than if you know you know the whole spiel well today's day day 17 day and, we're do and we're doing this now yeah i'm doing it too <laughs> it's a family affair it's family this is so much easier to just put it on with my hand it's a family you gotta get a nice thick layer though you're a thick layer Oh, oh, it's starting to really, uh... Flemation! Oh! <laughs> wow! You think the ultimate warrior? Show me your ultimate warrior face. Look in the camera. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Elizabeth Becca Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. Milky Piggy! Milky Piggy! Milk El Eliza Becca Milky Piggy Milky Piggy! Bubble Clay Mask. New! As opposed to the old one. Yeah. Milky Piggy! I don't see it where, where it does though. Milky Piggy! Oh my god. What's the matter? No, him. Milky Piggy. Milky Piggy. Milky Piggy. Milky Piggy. <laughs> Milky Piggy. Uh. Oh my god. Milky Piggy! You oh, because I didn't tell everybody what I did on day 17, you mean? That's a good point. It is day 17, well, it's after, because once again, it's after midnight. Uh, and I did my 30 minutes. I forgot to, I'm on my way to bed right now. Just fed the cats, and I forgot to tell you guys what I did. Um, more working on the rough lettering. Um, working on page one. I had started yesterday. I thought I'd more than get done today, but I didn't. Um, I worked on it for a half hour. Um, yeah. I don't know why. I, I was breaking up boxes. I wasn't even editing stuff out. I was just sort of changing the layout and playing around with font on one particular word. And I, w I guess I wasn't rushing. I mean, I, w I worked for 30 minutes, but I wasn't like, oh, I got to get it done. I like, actually slowed down a little bit for good or for bad. And uh, so I'm still working on rough layering for page one today. Yeah. Well, was. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm on tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be working on it as well. That's three days in a row at least. Okay. It's day 18, and I'm in the Daiso Market. Haven't done my work yet. Hanging out with mom shopping, and we're going to a lantern festival la later. So it occurs to me I should try to get my 30 minutes done in between these two events. Otherwise, I'm going to be up late again, which is a recurring theme. Daiso! Before I leave Daiso, I just want to wish you all a vacant day. Hope your day's vacant. Okay, day 18, and uh, I'm about to go to the lantern festival, but I did my 30 minutes. Mostly, I was doing the rough lettering for page one. Here it is, boom, finish that. 
but I had a few minutes left and I was looking at the bottom image there, which is supposed to be a werewolf based on a mask I had when I was a kid. I'd looked for it before, never quite found it. I spent the last five or six minutes doing another search and I did some different word combination that worked out because I'm pretty sure this is an image of the mask I had as a kid. Uh, I saved it, I saved the link, I'm gonna do some more investigating, but I'm 99% sure this is it. And if not, it's super close. So success with research after some rough lettering. Tomorrow I'll be rough lettering on page two, but for now, I gotta go look at some lanterns. So since I did my work earlier, now I can just calmly enjoy the upcoming land, which looks like nothing behind me. I thought it'd be a cool looking sight, but it looks like nothing. This is a little better. This is what I thought I'd be showing you. This is the Chinese Lantern Festival. Uh, it goes, I think it's the last weekend. I, I guess it's technically still celebrating New Year, which is the year of the pig. And we're gonna look at a bunch of lights and lanterns with my mother and wife. of them. Why so many mosquitoes? They have a giant land shark made of energy and light and you would think because it's immobile and on land it wouldn't be a threat but the weird thing is it has some special sort of lure and people just keep walking right down into its throat. Watch these fools might go in now. Oh look at how beautiful the shark. They don't see the danger they're in. Oh they escaped. Here we have the Aquaman exhibit. Ever since DC Comics movie came out the Chinese have loved jellyfish and Aquaman. This is historically inaccurate. There's the cute little baby zebra. That's where the dookie comes from. Oh yeah? The Lantern Festival. Is it excellent? Oh, it's beyond excellent. It's yeah. beyond. <laughs> He's got his iPod, He's son. Got his iPod. Walking down the road with <laughs> Mambo. They, they have little leaves on their heads. The, the leaf people mama. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna check out this dragon. It is long, it is long. So I'm gonna do a time-lapse walk down. Speed dragon, here we go, walking down, using, looking, all those humps. Can't believe it's so darn long, and we're getting to the end. Turn around, tail, walking back. <laughs> yeah, that's my voiceover, that's what you get. La 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 la. Speed dragon, go. And there you have it, tip to tail. <laughs> oh my god! I got ponies and I got thoughts jumping around in the dark. Down, 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 down. Sitting here on my phone, little got big hey a home. Down, 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 down. Well, I know Greek prince on me. I'm gonna jump for your gal. Down, 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 down. Bing, 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 bing. I'm not going to 